Supporters who want to keep the Frank Rizzo statue where it is have postponed today's rally. Well, it's part of a last minute deal in exchange for a meeting at City Hall. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live in front of the Rizzo statue in Center City. Good morning, Trang. Well, good morning, Jim and Rahel. Sources within City Hall told Eyewitness News that there were fears that this rally would turn violent. Now, those who have postponed their rally are hoping the meeting with Mayor Kenny will help all sides come to a compromise. Calls to take down the city statue of former Mayor Frank Rizzo are nothing new. But a tweet last Monday from Councilwoman Helen Gim reignited debate over the controversial monument. She wrote, quote, all around the country, we're fighting to remove the monuments to slavery and racism. Philly, we have work to do. Take the Rizzo statue down. I look pretty good, I believe. The former police commissioner and two-term mayor was known for his larger-than-life personality and tough law and order policing. His critics argued that African Americans and the LGBTQ community were unjustly targeted and brutalized under his tenure. Not so, says Rizzo's former personal secretary, Jody Della Barba. In the row home neighborhoods, blue-collar neighborhoods, he was a champion. Barbara is one of thousands who are calling for the Rizzo statue to be left alone. A petition for the call started on Tuesday, now nears 25,000 signatures. <laughs> but those calling for the statue to come down have been vocal as well. A petition of their own has attracted nearly 3,500 signers. In the past week, the statue was vandalized three times, resulting in two arrests, and a mural in the Italian market was splashed with white paint. For now, a rally organized by Rizzo supporters has been postponed, with the hope that Mayor Kenny can somehow bridge the gap between these two opposing sides. And you can see police continue to monitor the statue around the clock. Just one patrol car here now, but overnight there were several. Meantime, there's no word on when this meeting with Mayor Kenny will happen. But for now, we're live outside the Municipal Services Building. I'm Trang Do, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Rahel and Jim, back to you. Okay, the debate continues. Trang, thank you.